Hello everyone, this is Crota coming at you. Um, today is September 16th, and I will be trying to do another arena run. Um, been getting been, been getting pretty pretty much uh, getting owned in the arena as of late. Maybe five wins. Like I haven't been getting the, the seven wins. That, that's my goal, trying to get seven wins. Um, and I have not been able to get there consistently. So um, just working on that trying to build my arena skills and hopefully I will get better um, but statistically if you go seven and three in a tournament out of in a 10 round tournament that is really good I mean that that is some really really good results <laughs> yeah no question about that Conceal or defy us ringleader? Hmm. I think the fire ringleader coin you can do coin and do more stuff better. Wow, and I don't like any of these. I should probably start going higher on the curve now. Um, even though I want a bunch of low drops, I'm, I'm not getting the card draw that I need to really make uh, Edwin Van Cleef that good. I could go Acolyte of Pain for card draw. Hmm. I'll go Acolyte of Pain for card draw. Vanish, Betrayal, Sinister Strike. I am not drafting... Well, how can I make this better? I do need a little bit of more board clear, so Betrayal's good. Uh, Rifleman... I'll, t I'll go for a rifleman. Hmm. Card draw, abusive sergeant. That's also useful as well. Voodoo doctor. Assassin's blade. I'll take a shadow step. Sprint or backstab? Backstab is easier to pump up Van Cleef. Sprint is better late game. Uh. I will most likely have a weapon, so I can take a 2-1 charge, or do I want the loot hoarder to draw a card?
What? I think I need the card draw because my curve is so low. Um, as much as I would love to play a deck that has two Van Cleefs, uh, I I know that card draw is gonna come in handy. So five four five four, that can destroy the weapon, and I gain cards equal to the durability. Yeah, only half of the classes have weapons. But the classes that do have weapons. Hunter, Rogue, Warrior, Shaman, Paladin. Um, the like Those are all very common common um, arena decks. The only one that isn't common is, is Jaina, is the Mage. Do I go for a second? Okay, I'll go for a second Van Cleef. Oh, it doesn't let you grab two. Did it did it let me grab two? Oh, I'll have to double check. It has a star there. I don't know if it's two or not. The charge or the silence? I need a silence. I'll take two silences. I'm not gonna have a lot of cards in my hand. Blood Knight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I do, in fact, have two Edwin Van Cleefs in my deck. I just don't have any of the card draw that I was I was really hoping for. I was hoping to get uh, a couple of novice engineers, be able to shadow step them back, like things that help me play multiple cards in a turn is what I was looking for. Turn, uh, turn two, drop the dagger. Turn three, deadly poison into Defias Ringleader. Okay, he's gonna straight deal damage to me. Okay. Um. Yeah, so... Do that. I got lucky there. I didn't play the Shiv or the Shiv. Ah, Shiv. Shiv. Shank. Shiv. Shiv. Um, didn't play the. Sh okay. Let's see. Why would he drop the three two? That doesn't make any sense to me. Thank <laughs> you. 
clear that. Get a weapon. Drop an ooze. I don't want to overcommit to the board. Um, we're at turn 5. You could easily have a blizzard. Okay, restore 3 health. That's... How do I want to do this? I wonder. Look at Lord. Here we go. Not as big as I thought I was going to be. I thought I played more cards. Totally messed up. I thought I, I thought I totally played more cards. Okay, he's a 5-5. Five five. He's a 3-drop 5-5. Five five. He's going to poke Van Cleef for one. That's no problem. What? Ice block. Ice barrier, yeah. Uh, 
Oh my gosh. That's no good. This could be really bad. Oh my gosh. I don't know how to play this deck. I need to look at the cards all again. Wow. I totally messed up. There's no way I could have there's no way I could have done it. I should have head cracked first. I think that was that's probably one of the weirdest advices I've heard in a while. I, I don't think my deck has an identity. It doesn't have direct removal again. Like no eviscerates, one backstab, one sheave. I got two Van Cleefs, but I wish I had more board removal. Did I I need to go back and study this draft and figure out if I passed up on board removal or or did I just not get any? That could be interesting.
No, that's funny. Oh, this was supposed to kill him. It was supposed to kill him. That's weird. Like, if I shadow step, if I shadow step a gadgeteer auctioneer, I draw a card. If I shadow step the wild pyromancer, I don't draw a card? Why not? Saps, saps are not straight up, like, I, I guess it is technically creature removal, but it's just creature delay, you know, creature delay. I would rather have eviscerate or something, you know, like. I'll take the damage on my units, on my hero. That's a card draw engine if I saw, ever saw one. Ah, oh, I don't even get to draw a card off of that. That's no fun. Huh, how do I want to do this? Here we go. Totally did this wrong. I'm not playing well today. Yes, me and Mr. I was hoping to draw a card off of the... What's it called? But that didn't happen. I'm not that much ahead. In fact, I'm actually a little bit behind here. He's got cards in hand. Him taking down that Acolyte of Pain really... I'd have one more card, maybe two more in my hand, and that would have made me... that would make me feel much better at this point. I don't want to sap that. 
I could spell break or silence it, but that doesn't really help me. I don't want to drop a 5-4 that he can easily take out this turn. Nice. He can heal one point of damage. I don't mind that. I got rid of his weapon. You can't sap your own guys. People who are wondering why I don't, I don't sap my own minions to bring them back to my hand, you can't do it. It's your opponent. Well played. I guess I just gotta go all out here. He needs to clear everything off my board, including my weapon, or drop a taunt. I'm still okay. Well yeah, the deck the the deck is too focused on early game and uh, not enough on late game. I guess it's easier to have a rush deck in constructed than it is to have a rush deck in in arena. Like rogues by turn seven can win pretty consistently. I don't know if I can pull that off with this deck.
this this particular drop and the pint size summon coin pint size summoner is the two two biggest biggest problems in arena the fact that you can do them is is such a huge issue i didn't even know i had a bgh on this deck or rather i forgot i had a bgh on this deck That's got to be a very, very, like... Oh, wow. Okay. Cards in hand. Okay. So... You're gonna head crack me? No, you're gonna iron forge rifleman me. You got so many good cards. Those are all good cards. Restore two health. Okay. Oh wow. Rogue, Rogue is quite strong in arena. I will say that. I am the blade of the gods. Wish I had a way of killing that right now. Without using two, I mean. Of course I have a way of killing it. Why would you... You grab Van Cleef and you only put him for... Okay. Maybe you know I have a BGH in my hand. Here we go. 
All right. So I think uh, I think I just hopefully I have this game. I I don't think I've ever lost to a priest deck while playing with a while playing rogue in arena. Um, oh, and he has a silent assassin. Wow. Talk about two very good cards to thought steal. <laughs> I'm gonna take your Van Cleef and a Silent Assassin. Ow. Um, that actually hurts a lot. Obviously do that. And do that. Here we go. You look at me. Fire. Let the pain speak to me. I'm not feeling very confident about this deck. I just picked a lot of cards that I thought looked nice, but it's still not a good deck, I think. Um, yes, Priest is very, very vulnerable in Arena because its, it's hero power is not useful early on. Um, like. The, the problem with its hero power is all the other hero powers on turn two, you can use it to good effect. You can use it, except the priest. If you pass your first turn, your second turn, you're like, you didn't attack me. I can't deal damage. Oh, nicely played. Well played. You can't use Shat. Can you do a constructor with your Van Cleef to show how it should be played in a good deck? Uh, I, I should be able to do that. One of the biggest, okay, one of the biggest indicators or one of the most unique things about each of the classes is their hero power. If you don't build the deck with the hero power in mind, then um, things can go very poorly for you rather quickly. And I haven't seen anything with the divine shield. I am so surprised. one stealth first turn not bad
I should have just attacked it and killed it. What was I thinking? Ah, uh, I messed up. Oh gosh. I will hunt you down. Oh, I totally messed that up. Attack it, kill it, take two points of damage, and have oh, have an extra card in hand. Well, Blizzard needs to figure out if they're going to balance the, the game for Constructed and Arena, or just balance the game for Arena. Like... This is a problem. Yeah, if I had just attacked, taken out the guy, you're going to give me a mana crystal, but you're going to give me charge, okay. Okay. Ouch, that is actually going to hurt. Wow, you are winning this race by a lot. What am I going to do here? <laughs> I can't give you another minion. I take five, I'm down to eight. That is not good. My only hope is that you drop a huge drop here. Seven power, seven strength guy. And I'm able to counter it. Nope, not what I needed. But still, still I have hope. I forgot about your hero power. Okay, I need to win and I need to win fast now.
I can't do any more damage, right? He's gonna hero power me. I needed an eviscerate. Just like I thought I would. I, I don't have... That's twice I've drafted Rogue without getting an Eviscerate. I guess I could have gotten Cold Blood. I need Cold Blood. That's what I passed up on that I messed up. If I had a Cold Blood, I would have won. Come on, Defias. Come on, Defias. Uh, nope. I'm trying to get my hand full of low-cost cards. So I can get Van Cleef bigger later. But it doesn't look like that's going to work out. I 
I can get up to him. I can get him to a five-five for three. That's still a good turn. I can get him to a seven-seven if I work. If I wait until turn eight. Well, let's see what he plays first. Give me a quest. Oh gosh. Oh, and he die. He's gonna die. Is he gonna come back to life? Oh no, he's not. That's fine. Here we go. The Brotherhood shall come. Four damage on the one one. Why do it? Because he's running a paladin deck, and I've had the one one become a five five very very fast on me. I'm gonna put I'll take three points of damage. Van Cleef works best with shadow stepped characters. So that's that's what you want. You want a two drop. You want to play a two drop, shadow step it, play the two drop again. Ah, oh, nicely played. And people wonder why I do not, why I quote unquote waste damage on one ones. That's the reason why. <sighs> Watch, I'm gonna draw Van Cleef next turn after playing all that. Hammer of Wrath, my Van Cleef, please. Oh no, you're just gonna 5 2 charge him. That's okay. Maybe I, sh I should have dropped the Van Cleef instead of playing all that. But I want more cards in hand to combo. Oh. I got the best deals anywhere. Well, okay. Well played. Now, doesn't this not bode well for me?
shall prevail. Here we go. Don't you soon. I am not happy with myself if I lose this arena. I can't take down any of the... Shields up! Ah. Oh. Did I mess up and I should should I have just raced? I don't think I could have won the race. He would have been able to attack me back and and take me out. If I, taking out the Stormwind Champion, I thought I okay. Let me actually do the math every time. I just I just looked for the board and I got a general feel. So maybe that was not the right thing to do. Yes, I know he can play it again, and he can poke something, but it's still 4 damage that's prevented. Because otherwise he's just going to attack me straight up. Oh. I am mad at myself. I am so mad at myself.
people wondering why I trade four threes into one one. That's why. Everyone's like, that doesn't make any sense. A blessing of kings, and he comes back to hit me for five. I'm like, see? Oh, uh, that was so bad. Sorry, guys. I am not playing up to snuff today. Cool, Anixia, I guess. <sighs> Let's do some constructed. The, the my basically my idea is clear the board unless unless you're in a race situation. And You know, it's it it works out fairly well for me, I guess. All right, this is a this is a decent hand. I still... I, I wish I could just say trust me. When when you start playing the game... Like, the people... The, the high-ranked the high -ranked people that I've talked to... Have consistently even... Has, has consistently even told me, like, yeah. The game... The, the game is about board control. Your life... Really doesn't matter. What you really need to... Con if, if you take damage on your guy, yes, all, life is ultimately what you need, but in the end, it really, it really, really doesn't matter. That's, that's pretty much the consensus that I've gotten across the board. People are like, you know what? Yes, your life, your life points is ultimately how you win the game. But if you are so concerned about your life points, you will lose the game nine times out of ten. Because <laughs> momentum builds. The more momentum your opponent has, um, the the better they will be, you know. If I hit him for 9, then he kills me the next turn, because he has 6, 5, 2. He has 14 damage on the board. Oh my gosh, this is such a good hand. Sorry, I wasn't even thinking. I had 18 health. Yeah, maybe in that situation, maybe if I... I should I should consider racing if he can't kill me the next turn. Wow. Here we go. 
request accepted. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. Ice block. There. Even if you... Even if you flame strike, you have a lot to clear. He can fireball, he can polymorph. See? He's got cards in hand, he can easily come back into this. The problem is that every turn he needs to mitigate damage. Oh, if you're sure. Vaporize? Okay, so what is this? It's probably a counterspell. <sighs> Poke for one. Okay, I was wondering where those secret guys were. <coughs> oh, wow. What do I do in a situation like this? Vaporize. Well 
I should have gone after this guy first. Dang it. I should have, I should have, I should have. Ah. <sighs> What the? Oh my goodness. Come on, top deck a head crack. That's your late game, huh? Spell power 5? Fireball me for 11? Oh, no fireball. No, it hit me for 15. Well Why was that such a stressful game? Why was that such a stressful game? Oh my goodness. Gah. At least it was entertaining, right? Alright, let's see the rogue deck. Decent attempt at a comeback. Decent? I was at one hit point. Actually, wait, no, didn't I? No, I just did... I just used the the rogue deck. Okay. I I guess my games are entertaining. Wow, that was really I guess all of my games are a little bit more high tension, I guess. I see what you guys mean about racing now. Put him... The, the entire idea is to put him in a position where... Put him in a position where they need to attack my minions and can't attack me. I get it. I get it. Right now, I need a secret. Come on, I have so many secrets in the deck. Nope. I'll get one more chance. Can I draw a secret? Nope. Can I draw a secret now? I guess I could have attacked for one arcane int Yeah, I should have arcane intellected. Drew two cards. Hoping to get a secret more. And then the coin would have triggered... Oh, the, that would have been a much better turn. Stop rushing. Stop rushing yourself. That would have been a better turn. Coin. Arcane Intellect. 3-3. Three, three. Take down the taunt. Draw two cards. Play a secret. Most likely... Okay. This, this is still okay. Yeah, I was... I did not play well. My apologies for not playing well. This is what happens when I'm not when I don't play consistently. I took the weekend off, and I'm taking next weekend off as well to help a friend. <sighs> I 
Now that's odd. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you attack and take out the 4 1? That was. That was a really strange. That was a really strange turn. That was a very strange turn. Him not taking down the 4-1 allowed me to clear the board and keep my 4-1 on the field. Now I just need to make sure I don't overcommit to this board. Me frost bolting was a bit of an overcommitment there. I'll lose the divine shield. I'm fine with that. Mage secrets, I believe, are the hardest to deal with. There, I ignored the board and went for the race. How is that? I just need to start learning to do it a little bit earlier. I get golden frost bolts next. Let's see, can I keep this winning streak going? I'm still just so disappointed in myself. Like I've I've been getting better and better at at drafting. I'm like and I've been practicing too. Like I've been spending a lot of money actually practicing drafting and I obviously didn't get any better today. <coughs> All too high cost.
Oh, come on. I, I'm not gonna grab a secret? That's the entire point of this deck. I have like, I think seven secrets in this deck. So seven over, I have a 25% chance of drawing a, a secret. Oh, I guess that's not that high. Okay, it's not that high. Maybe, uh, actually I have a little bit of a better chance. I have like a 33% chance of drawing a secret before uh, turn three, which is what I need. Okay. Snipe me! Oh, it's not a snipe. Okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna kind of laugh if it's a frost trap. I cannot let him keep these... Wait. Just in case that trap is a snake trap. It's a snake trap. I didn't want him to get... Six cards. Oh my gosh. Wow, that's gonna be big. This is just not... This is just not going my way. He has so many cards that... that the vulture into the trap was huge. Three extra cards on me. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna get rid of you. Yeah, part of me wonders if if I had actually given him those three extra cards, he may have ac he may have destroyed a couple cards in his hand. He's down to fourteen cards in his deck, so this gives me a little bit of hope. Only, only one car would have been burned. What well, would have been funny if I was a druid deck and then I started to burn through his cards like natural, like after he had 10 cards in his hand, naturalize, naturalize. The problem is that he can poke me down. 
I'm not worried about his his minions right now. I'm worried about his hero power. If he just focuses on hero power, I don't know if I can get enough in seven turns to start stop to to stop him. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh, and you're going to snipe me. Well played. I hope he does another tracking. Oh, good gosh. Drop more two twos onto the field, please. Drop more two twos. <sighs> there is his hero power. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Archmage Antonidas, the late game answer for the secret deck. Um, if he stays on the board, he can deal anywhere between 12 and 15 damage. Oh, man. I wanted to play a Vaporize, but at this level, I know he's just going to attack with the 1-1, and I'm going to have to deal with a 5, he's going to poke. So, the situation as it stands, um, wow. Yeah, I, 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 like, people at this, okay, so he's going to attack there. Okay. Okay. Ugh. That's it. <sighs> this will be my last game. Oh, you guys want to see the rogue deck? Okay, rogue deck it is. Peregrine Falcon? Peregrine? Valera versus I'm actually going to head over to a friend's place on Wednesday what? and learn how to... Um, learn how to draft better. He normally goes 7 and 3. He's quite good. I'll just... He's good. I'll just say that. He's very good.
with Valera, it's it's a hit or miss whether or not I strike. Uh, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, just because I'm trying to figure out like board presence and whatnot. Um, in this situation, I'll strike and then I'll grab my dagger. I got a whole bunch of... I have got a whole lot of nothing in my hand right now. Wow, that's a whole lot of nothing. I need a top deck of Gadgeteer or otherwise I'm in trouble. No, well, Gadgeteer, Quester, or Mana Addict. Okay, uh, I guess Mana Addict will do nicely for now. But I don't have any protection on her. So, that's what's scary. But anything he plays will have to be from hand. So that gives me a little bit of... A little bit of comfort, but he'll probably just drop the 3 drop that deals 3 damage. Which, I'm... I guess I'm okay with. Wrath, 3 drop that... Or the, the deal 3 damage, yeah. I, I'm okay with that. Uh, there's no way that I could protect it. And we're just exchanging blows right now, so... Come on. What am I gonna get? Wow, this is like... One of the worst... One of the worst... Okay, well, how many cards do I have? I have seven. Uh, okay, I'm fine. I will stream on Wednesday. You both have a ton of cards in hand. It's kind of funny. Come on, grab a Gadgeteer now! That would be awesome! Or start playing things on the board so I can attack. I must oh, okay. <laughs> Keeper of the Grove. If you notice, this is actually considered a spell. Keeper of the Grove, choose one. Deal two damage or silence a minion. It's not a battle cry, so my counter spell actually counters it. Um, I was a bit surprised by that. Wow, this is like, every minion in my deck is in the bottom 18 cards, save for two. Okay, I'm gonna have to start burning cards next turn if I don't get my stuff. Oh, Leroy Jenkins. Oh, wow. Well played. Well played. Grab a conceal. Can I get a conceal?
I have a 6-6 six, six that he can easily take out. Can I get him up to 19 is the question. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 7, 8, 9, 10. He's already, a, he's already at 16 power right now. 16, 17. Oh, wow. Okay, he's going to take a giant chomp out of the questing adventurer. If he has the force of nature, he wins. If he doesn't have force of nature, I'm... Well played. Oh, how did I call it? Oh. Oh. Alright, uh, I'm a glutton for punishment. I'll do one more game. That was... I just did not get any of my draw that game. I'm quite surprised by that. None of my draw. Oh, no, you're gonna. Oh. That's no good. Uh. What are you gonna do? You're gonna trade with me? You're gonna equip a dagger and trade? Oh, no. Okay. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take those. I'll take that damage. I'm okay with that. Almost forgot to attack with the mana worm. And backstab. Nicely done. So I got a 5-5 five, five on the board. I wanted to play the Secret Keeper, because I don't want... Oh, you're just going to straight up attack me. Wow. Really? You're just going to straight up attack me? Okay, um... You must have a big game hunter in your hand. 
you gonna drop a big game hunter right now? Cause that's the only thing that makes sense. Oh, you're trying to you're trying to race me when I have a. You're trying to race me when I have a seven seven and secrets on the board. You let it get out of hand. And that is why you board clear. So that is a perfect example of why you board clear. Yeah, I had some good games tonight. Uh, I, I won some. I lost more. Um, I think overall on the night I lost like maybe four games, or no, I, I lost five games, but I won. I won more games than I lost. And considering that the matchmaking system is pairing me up, so that I have a 50-50 chance in each. Like I should have 50-50 chances. I think I did fairly well. Um, I still wish I did better on arena. Don't know what happened. Kind of fell apart. But yeah, that was. You should, um, but yeah, I, I'm still getting better. I'm I'm starting to draw that line between if I need to learn. Th this is basically what I need to learn to get to the next level. I need to learn when to pressure my opponent, so that my op and then knowing that my opponent needs to wipe my board instead. That's that's the problem that I had um, in one of the games with Rogue that you guys mentioned. I was thinking back on it. I was playing to wipe the board. If I played to race him down to two hit points, like you guys suggested, he would have to wipe the board on his turn. And that would have been better for me. I need to learn math? No, my math is fine. It's the decision making. It's what I do with the, ma with the information presented to me. I have not been making the best decisions. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Um, I should be able to get enough coins tomorrow to uh, do another free arena. Hopefully. Um, once again, if you guys want to support me, please uh, help me out. If you guys like the arena content, send me some um, send me some donations, and I will continue to do more and more arenas and go on from there. Hope I want to get to the point where I'm good enough that I don't have to spend any money on Arena, and I always have enough coin to play it. That's my goal. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.